In the today's video, I'm going to show you a great way that you can get pressure from match defense, still keep your coverage pretty much intact, and be able to defend a lot of what people are going to throw at you whenever they're trying to beat the pressure. Now, if you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that in this video, we're going to be talking about the uh, nickel 245 odd, which is, can be found in the uh, Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Now, I haven't done a 245 odd video in a minute, so I'm really excited to share this with you um, because I think the 245 odd is one of the most versatile defenses in the game. It kind of combines, honestly, the best pieces from the dollar 326, the nickel 335 wide, uh, and then maybe some other stuff as well. You still have the ability to audible into. 335 wide, nickel triple, which is one of my favorite formations. So there's a lot of flexibility with this defense. Now in this video, we're going to talk about a specific type of way that you can get pressure from match. As you might already know, in the 245 odd, they only really have uh, one play that is match coverage or one primary play that is match coverage, and that is the cover six. Now, like I said, the 245 odd is an incredible pressure. You're going to be able to get pressure whether or not they block their running back, whether or not they block their tight end. It's one of my favorite pieces of this. And what we want to go ahead and do here is I want to go ahead and sub in my best pass rusher at this outside linebacker position. So you see over here on this right of screen, I could put a middle linebacker there. I think that's a really hidden feature uh, of this formation that most people don't really take advantage of. I would really encourage you to put a middle linebacker there. Put someone that can cover uh, in that position. So like for the Patriots, I could put safeties here. And then if you and then um, we can also we can technically put a safety here, uh, not in the sub menu, but there are some tricks that we teach in our ebook where you can actually get a safety in that position. Um, if you want to get the full two four five odd defense or all of my ebooks, join the Patreon. I've got fourteen offensive and defensive guides in there. Everything from two four five odd to three three five wide to dollar uh, to nickel normal. One of the most slept on defenses. I think triple is really good as well. Uh, but anyways, if you want to get all that stuff, there's a link in the description if you want to join the Patreon. But we're going to put our best pass rusher right here. Um, you could argue that you might want to put your best pass rusher right here and then just put somebody fast there. But, I, you know, do what you want. But anyways, uh, we're going to come out in this cover six. Now, uh, and then I'm just going to come out in, in bunch. We've got kind of some of the basic, uh, the basic, basic concepts. Let me see here. I don't know why. I think I grabbed the wrong playbook by mistake, but it's not a big deal. Um, let me put let me put um, let me put bunch trail uh, in the audibles, and then I think let's see if we can come out in like something with five out first to kind of explain the concept, and then we'll yeah we'll just come out in mesh spot. That's fine. Okay. So the way this defense works, honestly, really really simple. Literally, all you do um, is just spread your linebackers. You're going to spread your defensive line, which they probably won't move. Um, and then you're going to press, obviously. And then what you want to do from the from a pressure perspective for a base rush is basically all we're going to do here is just crash our line to the right a few times. So you'll see that it changes this blitz angle. Now, the real key to the blitz, honestly, is this right here. It's this angle. If you can get these two players to have that specific blitz angle, you're going to be in pretty good shape to get pressure. Now... The other thing I wanted to quickly hit on here is that, and I'm going to show you how to blitz in just a second, but I want to just show you the basic, basic coverage. Because we could put a middle linebacker here, he covers really well. And in my opinion, the most difficult player to guard out of bunch or the player that messes up a lot of defenses is the tight end. So I like to go ahead and just man him up. So I don't have to wor really worry about the tight end. I mean, there's some routes that will beat man, but by and large, I don't really have to worry, worry too much about him. And then I have a decision to make. I can either use her this guy here, or I can use her this guy here. Now, typically, I'm going to be using um, one of these two guys. Okay, it, it, it honestly kind of changes, but we can, you know, there's some gap shoots you can do out of this if you want to. Um, there's also some here. The bottom line is. Um, this little three-man basic rush right here is a passive pressure. It's not really intended to be like you know an unbelievable pressure, but it is passive pressure. So sometimes you will get this guy off the edge completely clean, as you can see right there. Just a little three-man blitz. One of the best features of this defense. Now, the, the where this gets really good though is in its ability to basically guarantee pressure, and the way that you do that 
is simply by spreading your linebackers. And then what you're going to do here is I like to go ahead and simply uh, crash my line to the, to the right. I'm going to blitz this guy. So this has now created a five-man uh, pressure concept, if you will. Then we're going to user this guy, but we're going to keep him on his own. Now, typically you would blitz your user. We're not going to blitz him. The reason why, the coverage works significantly better when the AI of the coverage believes he's on a three-rec hook. And he kind of is. With the way you're going to user him, you're going to be lurking over the middle of the field. And then lastly, we're going to put the corner on the left into a hard flat so that he can stop any anything quick to the flat. If you want to man up this guy on the tight end, you can still do that. And that's what's beautiful about this formation is you can do stuff like that and still be kind of fine uh, blitzing-wise. And what you'll see here, this pressure will absolutely scream. And as you can see, your match coverage is completely intact. Everything's going to work perfectly for you. Now, uh, I did mention in the introduction of the, of the video that this blitz will come in consistently if they block their running back. So let me show you that real quick. So again, we're just standing right here. I'm going to block the running back. And what you'll see is the blitz will come around the edge every single time. Now, what's also really cool is one of the ways that most people like to pick up pressure is they like to block the tight end. So you might get a look, you know, something like this, for example. Okay. Um, we're going to spread our linebackers, crash our defensive line to the right, blitz the linebacker on the left side of the screen, just like this. And then we're going to hard flat. So you see it's a five-man concept. And what you should see here is the tight end really isn't going to change the fact that the pressure is going to come in. The pressure still completely screams right out that gap. So now they're in a situation where they're going to have to block seven people. And to be honest with you, I will say the seven-man uh, or seven-man protection does do decent but it doesn't always pick this up, okay? It doesn't always pick this up. You'll see right here, as you can see, the pressure still comes in against Max Protect. That, to me, is one of the most critical pieces, is, is does your blitz work against a blocked running back? Does your blitz work against a blocked tight end? And really, does your blitz work against Max Protect? Because now that we know that we can basically guarantee our pressure, it really opens the door for our user. Like if we see something like this, we're just gonna carry the crossers and you, you already know they don't have a lot of time to throw the ball. So this is a simple way that you can send some pressure out of match coverage and still be very, very effective. And a cool part is if you wanted to, for example, let's say, for exa let's say that, um, and this is one of the really cool features as well, another little concept here. So let's say we don't want to user this guy because we don't want to give it away when we're blitzing, when we're playing coverage. We can still user this three rec, but we're going to go ahead and blitz him this time. And now what we're going to do is our defensive or our linebacker, remember that middle linebacker, we're going to then put him in a bluff blitz. And what you're going to see is now he's in the three rec, and then we can take this middle linebacker in the middle of the field and man him up on the tight end. We still basically have the same coverage, except now this is more of a passive pressure. Even if in, in for mobile quarterbacks, we could go ahead and spy. So a little two-man rush action here, and then we're still able to use her over here. And as you can see, the blitz really does work well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, but if you want to learn more about this defense, how it works against every formation in the game, I really encourage you to check out my Nickel 245 Odd Defensive eBook. I think it's by far the best bunch defense that you're going to find on the internet. It's really, really effective against bunch, really effective against a lot of sets, um, because not only can it get pressure, it also gets great sheds. It also has really good coverage schemes that you can put behind the pressure, great personnel, the one little piece is the run defense, which we have some pretty decent run defense in the ebook for you. So if you want to check all that stuff out, there's a link in the description below uh, where you can check that out. Again, by joining the Patreon for just $10 a month, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks. So if you're still watching this video, you want to check out everything, head on down to the description and uh, click on that Patreon link and you can go check that out.